We've been working on an incredible book and it's not incredible because I've created it, it's incredible because it represents women across Australia. So I didn't realise how amazing it really was until this morning so I'm really honoured, which is such a cliche but I really am, I really am. I think the selection of um, people that Karen has chosen, not, ex not, ex not meaning me, but you know, the rest of the group are, are amazing. Um, and it's so lovely that, they, that all the people featured aren't well known. It's lovely because there are so many women out in our communities who do amazing work. So it's lovely that there are some faces that aren't familiar. I'm, I'm one of those people that's uh, amazed that I'm standing on this stage. I feel somewhat like an imposter. Oh, I highly doubt that in actual fact. When you read your story, you kind of read it and you kind of relax into it as you read your story on love. I mean, I feel very honoured and very privileged to be a part of the book and when you meet so many other wonderful women and the stories that they've got and they've shared as well, um, yeah, it really is. That's what, what life is, about sharing experiences and enriching your own. So I'm so proud of Karen. It's just amazing, and I think after everything you did, it's, um, it's like childbirth. You go through all, you only had seven months though. I'll go through all those months of hard work, and then this is the result, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful result, and I'm very really proud of you. great opportunity as well to be able to get those ladies that were here um, that are in the book to get them to sign because otherwise you don't get that opportunity. Are you going to take this on a plane or I'm going to China so I'm going to take that with me and share it with some of our friends over there. But over the years we've had some incredible incredible people on this stage and over the years we all get to hear their stories and I kind of started thinking a little while ago the amazing thing is we hear their stories and wouldn't it be great if we could transpose those stories and pass them out to other women and men all over Australia? What shines through is the three things I think you need in life. And it's that old Chinese proverb, someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for. I love this book. In honour of the nine of the fabulous women who are in it today, I'm delighted to declare it absolutely launched.